Well, I finally had time to work on the motion control system and I wanted to give you guys a little bit of an update. So let's jump into it and I'll explain. Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, I want to share a bit about this motion control system that I've set up. I've talked about it in a couple previous episodes. I've hinted at it on, uh, on Instagram and a couple other places, and here it is. I've got the basics of it working. Now, you might remember some of these parts from a prior video I did on printing super strong parts. Well, this is why I needed super strong parts to hold all this into place. Now, as you see, I've got it working here. I've got it wired up. I'm using two um, 27 to 1 stepper motors, NEMA, I think, believe these are NEMA 17s, a 27 to 1 ratio. So tons of holding torque. What am I going to use this setup for? Well, actually, a couple different things. One is a, for a camera platform. As you guys might recall, I also picked up a linear actuator, about a two-foot one. I am going to build a mount to attach this to that linear actuator. So I will actually be able to move the camera in three dimensions at once. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Also on the control board, which I'll talk a little bit more about, I have a relay to fire the camera. So I'll be able to control the camera, work the motion to do some really cool time lapses. The other thing is I'm an amateur radio operator, a member of AMSAT. And one of the things I want to do is build a satellite tracking system. And so this will work perfect for that, especially the holding power of these motors works great. I'll be able to put an aero antenna on here, mount to here, and this should hold the weight pretty well. I may redo some of the mounts for the aero antenna scenario, but pretty much this should work. Now for control, in this case, what I'm doing is simply using uh, garble and uh, CNC controller board, CNC slash laser controller board. You've seen this before. I've used the same board on the mini mill project. Uh, with great success. I really like this. This is a Sane Smart board, about 24 bucks US. Highly recommended. I'll also have links to all this below, and I've also got these parts out on Thingiverse. So if you want to build something like this, you can follow along. Now, I picked up the general inspiration for this off the internet, and I made a couple modifications sort of to make it my own and fit my purpose. Uh, so it's really working out well. Uh, the other thing in this case, what I'm doing too, is I've mentioned I'm using the garble board here. Now, I'm controlling this with g-code now the cool thing about that is I can use really off-the-shelf parts and I can do some cool stuff with the g-code so if you're familiar with 3d printing CNC you're familiar with g-code so I can control the speed of rotation the angle of rotation but the one thing I think is really neat what I've done is you set this up so one millimeter equals one degree a turn because as you can see here that the motion of this is you know basically circular so I don't care about the distance traveled I care about the angle of rotation so I have this set so 360 millimeters equals 360 degrees uh, in this and so again if I do um, say uh, a G01 X90 it'll turn this motor by 90 degrees this is defined as the X axis here so really kind of neat application of this and again I can write some basic macros to mesh together uh, g-code to you know do different motion tracking and things like this so I'm really excited about this and it's been a rather easy project I've just been having you know because of work and this coronavirus thing and all this other stuff uh, just a lot of demands on my time for other things so I haven't had time to work at it but here it is all put together one to share with you guys so hopefully you found it interesting if you can think of some other ideas for this hit me up in the comments below if you got questions about this again hit me up in the comments below always love hearing from you guys so swag shop will be up there subscribe over there and we'll catch you guys in the next video we'll probably talk more about this cheers please click like below and subscribe to the channel